assalamu alaikum in this video tutorial we're going to discuss about carbohydrates carbohydrate literally means hydrates of carbon however carbohydrates may be defined as polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones or those compounds which on hydrolysis yields either polyhydroxy aldehydes or ketones carbohydrates a compound of carbohydrates is composed of three elements namely carbon hydrogen and oxygen as we take a view on the structure of carbohydrate the molecular structure of carbohydrate is composed of three elements which are carbon hydrogen and oxygen this is the molecular structure of carbohydrates the term sugar is applied on those carbohydrates which are sweet in taste and soluble in water now let's talk about functions of carbohydrates carbohydrates participate in a wide range of functions in the body carbohydrates are the most abundant dietary source of energy for all organisms they are widely available in our diets and a great source of energy carbohydrates are precursors for many organic compounds fats and amino acids carbohydrates helps in the natural synthesis of protein and fats inside the body carbohydrates as glycoproteins and glycolipids participate in the structure of cell membrane and cellular functions such as cell growth cell addition and fertilization carbohydrates also serve as the storage form of energy glycogen to meet the immediate energy demands of the body classification of carbohydrates carbohydrates are often referred as saccharides they are broadly classified into three major groups monosaccharides oligosaccharides and polysaccharides this categorization is based on the number of sugar units or number of saccharides monosaccharides and oligosaccharides are sweet in taste crystalline in character and soluble in water hence they are called sugar monosaccharides contain a single unit of sugar therefore they are referred to as simple sugar the examples of monosaccharides are fructose and galactose oligosaccharides contains more than one unit of saccharides up to 10 for example here you can see glucose and fructose both are separate uh, saccharides when they are combined they form a oligosaccharide which is sucrose here galactose and glucose both are separate saccharides when they are combined they form lactose lactose and sucrose are the examples of oligosaccharides based on the number of saccharides the oligosaccharides are further subdivided into disaccharides trisaccharides and so on polysaccharides polysaccharides contains more than 10 saccharides when a compound of carbohydrates contains more than 10 saccharides they are called polysaccharides the examples of polysaccharides are cellulose starch glycogen monosaccharides and oligosaccharides are sweet in taste and crystalline in character therefore they are known as sugar however polysaccharides are tasteless and forms colloids with water monosaccharides are further subdivided into two aldolases and ketosis when the functional group of monosaccharide is aldehyde then monosaccharides is known as aldolases and when the functional group of monosaccharide is ketone then monosaccharide is known as ketosis polysaccharides is further subdivided into two homopolysaccharides and heteropolysaccharides homopolysaccharides are those polysaccharides in which the saccharide units the sugar units is same is similar and heteropolysaccharides are those polysaccharides in which the saccharide units are different from each other